Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a showcase, guys, on this brand new mega power plant from the Create mod. Now, what I created here, guys, was an awesome system that produces up to 3.9 million stress units continuously. And with this, guys, I wanted to create something that was super amazing and just out of this park. Now, with the system, guys, you're going to have an awesome kelp farm that's going to be producing up to six stacks of kelp blocks every five minutes, which is wild. Those kelp blocks burn at such a slow rate and they just last super long. Now, we have five floors just like this, and this bad boy is about 33 blocks wide. And not for nothing, it's all being powered by a windmill and they all sync up beautifully. See? And there's the windmill. And with this, all that harvest comes right down here into this shaft or chute directly into that chest guys and once it gets on the conveyor belt it gets smoked on and as you can see that kelp turns right into dry kelp once it reaches the end then it goes directly into that basin and then the mechanical press goes right down and converts that into a solid kelp block and at that point guys you have an unlimited supply of kelp block getting produced with this awesome machine now of course this will go straight out to the front we're going to get to that in a bit. Now, I'll explain to that a little bit later. Let me show you what's actually powering this. What we have here is an awesome windmill. That's powering this entire system 24-7. And as you can see here from this stressor meter, it's actually producing 96% needed to run this. Now, once it goes over here, guys, it goes right into this chute. And on the top of this chute, guys, believe it or not, there's actually a fan on reverse mode sucking all the items from that chest, which is fantastic. It's a really cool way to send items up. And this is actually a, an encasing that goes over the actual conveyor belt. See that? Oh, that is so cool. I love this. This mod is phenomenal. Now, as you follow this chute, it goes right up. As you can see, right over here, straight up here, and then right out from here. If that makes any sense. And it goes right into this adjustable crate. Now, I want to explain this in a bit. I know it looks a little funny. It looks like two ears. But we're actually recycling the kelp itself. So once it gets up here, the kelp actually gets split equally on both sides to power the actual furnace engines. See? Now we have here a detector that actually allows us to control this whole system. So if this ever gets filled up to the max, guys, this thing will turn off to prevent any overflow. Now, once it goes through this belt and it fills up every one of these furnaces, it goes straight up. As you can see, as it flows right in here, it goes straight up into this actual adjustable crate. And once again, it gets sucked up to the second floor of this system with these fans and then goes right back onto the belt directly to the front. And what's happening here, guys, it's feeding these engine furnaces as well so that it could allow to go to this adjustable crate and then straight down that chute into the first one that we started out with. So nothing gets wasted. And that's the beauty about this. Now to explain what's actually happening with this actual engine setup, we have an encased fan that's being powered on reverse and turned off every few seconds. So what it does is it sucks up the ore because the ore will actually cause this blast furnace to produce twice the power than a regular furnace would. And all that ore does is to simply activate the actual blast furnace. Now we have this windmill here, guys, on full power, guys. The max this windmill could produce is 8,196 stress units. And as you can see, we're at 98%. That's controlling the belts, the fans, and uh, pretty much that's it. Now for the belt, guys, we have this on, for the fans, we have it on low speed. So we have an actual speed controller there. And we have this nice little clock here that's actually controlling the clutch that controls the fans. And for the belts, we have another speed controller on max speed guys this thing is at 256 making these belts go at full speed to make sure that everyone gets the fuel needed at the quickest pace possible 
Now we have both of these connected and this thing will give you 100% of what it produces guys at 3.9 million stress units continuously. And there you have it guys. This thing is just phenomenal. And the cool thing about this, is you could really make this any size you want because how is laid out. Each section here, guys, is just a complete replica and it's so tallable. You can really just make this either super small or even double the size of what I just created. So you really have a phenomenal range of options on how big or small you want to make this, depending on how you want to use it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial and make sure to subscribe and hit that like button, guys. Let's see if we can try to hit at least 200 likes. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.